Hi, I'm Dr. Amy Barnagay from the College of GPs, and I'm here to talk to you all at the last. Uh, my presentation is at the last, so general practice, uh, they have been, uh, kept it as the last presentation. But I'm here to tell you all why you should uh, take up uh, general practice or family medicine. So you all have now listened to all the uh, introductions about the, all the other specialities. So let's see what's positive in uh, general practice. So now you are at the stage where you're going to uh, decide which uh, speciality, and it's a very crucial uh, point at, in your life, I suppose. So who is a general practitioner or a family physician? So general practitioners are uh, uh, doctors who will give personal, primary, and continuing holistic care to individuals, where you will have an individual or maybe their families, and may, finally a practice population in a particular area and you will be the first contact doctor. The patient will come to you first. You're the first contact person and the presenting complaints will vary. Uh, there'll, there'll be like complicated complaints from cardiology, respiratory, dermatology. So this will be, uh, it's a uh, speciality in breadth and not in depth, where you're required to have a knowledge in all the specialities because you are the first contact doctor and you will work in your maybe in your own private practice or in an opd setup in a private hospital or a government hospital or in a primary care unit so uh, how did you become a general practitioner or a family physician uh, some years ago or let's say about 20 30 years ago just because like you set up your own practice you have your name board uh, you were called a GP, and it's not so anymore. You need to have your postgraduate qualifications in general practice or family uh, medicine to call yourself a GP or a family physician. So these are the, a list of uh, postgraduate qualifications which you can obtain uh, in Sri Lanka. So first you need to obviously to have your basic medical degree and the SLMC registration. So let's look at what are uh, the postgraduate qualifications in general practice or family medicine that is available here in Sri Lanka. First, it's the uh, MCGP, it's a postgraduate diploma, which is offered by the College of GPs. And then you have the DSM, it's also the postgraduate diploma in family medicine offered by the PGIM, and then the MD in family medicine, again offered by the PGIM, and the international qualification would be the MRCGP, international or UK. So let's uh, just go through each and uh, every uh, qualification and let's see what is here. So first of all, about MCGP. So it's a postgraduate diploma, which is awarded by the College of General Practitioners. And it's uh, registered and recognized by the SLMC. It's a two-year course, which is uh, conducted by the Faculty of uh, Teachers of College of GPs and the final exams conducted by the Board of Study of uh, CGPSF. And I must say, there is a mentoring program uh, which, uh, which is offered along with this postgraduate diploma. And this is a mentoring program, which is, I think, uh, is one of the most active uh, ongoing mentoring programs in uh, Sri Lanka when it comes to postgraduate courses. And uh, regarding the College of GPs, uh, it was incorporated by parliamentary law in 1974. And the associate membership of the college is given to doctors who are presently in general practice, and you get the membership finally when you have the MCGP qualification. And we have our annual academic sessions where we give a lot of knowledge and information to all the practicing GPs in Sri Lanka. So, and, and of course the college has several committees where, uh, especially the medical education committee where we have CPD programs on a monthly basis, the mentoring uh, committee, and also NCD committees and various committees which belongs to the college. And it's one of the very old colleges in Sri Lanka when you compare with the others. So, uh, and the official uh, publication of the college is the Sri Lankan Family Physician. Uh, then when we come to the postgraduate diploma in family medicine that is offered by the PGIM, uh, you need five years of post internship service uh, to apply for the uh, selection exam. And uh, if you once, it's an in-service training program of uh, one year. And this uh, DFM will also help you to seek for the MD in family medicine. At the moment, uh, the DFM 
is an uh, is a eligibility criteria to seek for the uh, selection exam in family medicine, but that might change in the near future. And uh, at the moment, we have about uh, 22 board certified uh, MD family medicine uh, physicians in uh, Sri Lanka. It's a three year program. And of course, the MRCGP. Yeah, and one more thing about the MD in family medicine we have the MD in family medicine by clinical examination as well as the MD in family medicine by thesis, which is for the full time GP. That is a research uh, MD where you do not have a selection exam, but it's only for the full-time GPs. Then the MRC GP is the international qualification, and it's recognized by the Royal Australian College of GPs also. Again, you need uh, these eligibility criteria to sit for the MRC GP international, and it's uh, not only recognized uh, by the Royal Australian College, also in the Middle East as well, and we have so many doctors who have been qualified here, especially with MCG and the MRCGP who are working in uh, Australia and uh, the Middle East. And the College of GPs here, we work in collaboration with the Royal Australian College of GPs as well. And uh, regarding the international body related to family medicine and uh, general practice all over the world is the WONCA, the World Organization of National Colleges, Academies and Academic Associations of GPs and Family Physicians. So it's a, governed by a World Council and it spans, there are seven regions uh, all over the world and uh, the Wonka direct membership is given to our Sri Lankan GPs or the family physicians and I'm proud to say that we have uh, about two past presidents of Wonka in Sri Lanka and the next uh, Wonka president will also be from Sri Lanka. So I must say that family medicine or general practice actually uh, in Sri Lanka, the Sri Lankan <coughs> GPs or the family physicians have reached to the international level and uh, Wonka has another uh, movement for the young doctors, the young GPs all over the world for <coughs> each and every region and uh, Spice Root movement is for the South Asia region and I'm proud to say the South Asian region Spice Root movement chair is also from Sri Lanka at the moment. So uh, family medicine is uh, now in Sri Lanka especially has I think reached out uh, internationally as well. The Sri Lankan GPs and the family physicians are uh, all over the world and I think we, uh, and we have so many uh, GPs who are in the board of study of the MRC GP International as well. So I invite all of you to consider the uh, <coughs> practice of family medicine in Sri Lanka and once again I would like to emphasize that just because you set up a board and a office and a stethoscope, you do not become a GP. It's not so anymore in Sri Lanka. You need to have your postgraduate qualifications to call yourself a GP or a family physician. And then uh, I saw some where we were talking about advantages and disadvantages, where whether it is possible to uh, balance family life and uh, your career. Yes, I think uh, this is a speciality, uh, especially if you're a mother. I'm a mother of two. And uh, it's, uh, so I think uh, it's, uh, it's a case where it's easy to balance life and uh, talking about income, yes, uh, I think not, maybe not as an eye surgeon as well, uh, Dr. our eye surgeon was talking about, so maybe not to that extent, but then I think income might be your concern. Uh, so that also is a positive factor. So I uh, invite all of you to consider general practice or family medicine. I wish you good luck and all the best.